Can you take a simple three ways to accomplish something article and turn it into courses and memberships and maybe even a content empire? We're going to answer that question in just a moment. Welcome, everyone, to the Content Profit Show, episode 66. Yay, and thank you all for making this um, a live cast and podcast with so many episodes. It just keeps growing. You guys have been great followers and fans and customers, and that's why we're doing four of these a week. And if you want to be one of the people that does one, then right over here, I'm going to get this finger thing down eventually right over here is jeffherring.com forward slash apply you go there apply for one i'll get a hold of you we'll talk um and we are full until july at this point in uh early may and uh we're filling up july so hurry we do this now my guest today is laura langley and we connected just a few moments ago um but i don't see her on yet so uh, I'll keep watching for her, you know, and as they say, the show must go on, right? So Lorna empowers women who feel stuck and overwhelmed to break free from non-supportive thoughts and habits to boldly walk in their God-given power with unshakable confidence so that they can live with freedom, the life they dream of. As a coach with more than 30 years experience, Lorna brings a unique approach to transformation by combining the power of the mind, holistic methods, and spiritual principles to bring about lasting change. That's a pretty good introduc introductory statement, isn't it? All right. So as I said, the show must go on. And, you know, this is a good thing. It's not my first radio, right? Um, so let's take a look over here at Lorna's article. Three ways to tap into your subconscious. And this is part of all her work with women's empowerment. Um, and so... The first way is positive affirmations. Now, we've heard about those, right? And I, I'm, I'm sure this has nothing to do, and I know it has nothing to do because I've looked at everything, nothing to do with um, that old Saturday Night Live skit, right? Um, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Not that, I'm sure, okay? It's being able to repeat positive self-talk to you, okay? Because... If, if you think about it, the person that has the most criticism for each of us is us and the way we talk to ourselves. And I love this one. Um, you know, the biggest issues you have to work on, um, one issue at a time. Yep. Speaking aloud, I love it, or thinking or writing these down. Yeah, I would do all three. Um, all right. And then meditation. Right now, I love this line here. There are many forms of meditation, okay? And you've heard all about different ones and have the, the traditional one. Um, in my mind, okay, meditation is much like being in a trance state, focused on just a very few things. We come close to that when we're driving a long distance, you know, when you don't, you get to such and such place and you don't remember going through the place you had to go through to get there. Um, also do that in movie theaters. We're still, it's dark and we're staring straight ahead. Okay. Um, it's a great way to clear things out. I love this. You know, some people, some people don't like it because they cannot use it due to issues such as ADHD. Yeah. If they haven't learned how to focus that. Yeah. I love it. Um, Movement meditation, progressive relaxation meditation, focused mindfulness, loving kindness, guided and visualization. I love these different ways of meditation. That's really cool. I, I had no idea there were so many different ways to do this. So that's cool. Good job, Lorna. Um, let's see. And then visualizations. Very, very powerful, powerful thing. Um especially for those of us that think and experience the world visually, you know, and say things like, you see what I mean? Look at, I, I, that kind of looks good to me, et cetera. Um, 
here's the thing about the brain that I know from being a counseling psychologist all those years. Okay, The brain doesn't care whether the pictures you're creating are real or not. Okay. For example, you ever wake up from a nightmare and you're laying there feeling everything that you experienced, all the emotions you experienced in that nightmare, and you have to lay there for a while talking to yourself, going, oh, no, that's a dream, that's a nightmare, this is real, okay? That's a negative example of the power of visual, visualization. Um, a positive one is seeing what you want, seeing how things are going to work out. Um, I've got an event later on tonight that I'm in charge of, and I've been spending time picturing it doing fantastic and not, oh, what are all the awful things that happen? What if something bad goes wrong? Because my visualization is, what if something good goes wrong? And then I picture it. So, um, positive affirmations, meditations, and visualizations. Now, a, a word about this article style. It's a three-chunk article. You've heard me talk about those before. It can be steps, secrets, mistakes, myths, steps, waves like this one. Okay? And this is pro not probably, this is the best way. Um, all right. I just heard the famous click, and there she is. Yay. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Where are you coming in from? Ontario, Windsor, Ontario. Oh, okay. That's a little bit a little bit cooler than it usually is here down in Hot Atlanta. My goodness. <laughs> That's My goodness. For sure. We're about to switch over from your article to uh -huh. the um to the uh the flow chart I've created for you. But first, tell us a little bit about how you got into this. Oh, my goodness. I've always wanted to work online. And then I, I moved and I closed my practice and decided, well, took a pause and decided I'd like to go online because it's always been something I've wanted to do. Right. Totally. Now, the bizarre thing, I don't do online work before. I'm totally unfamiliar with Facebook and posting. So the learning curve has been really steep. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of moving parts. Well, it's good that you're here because we can help with that. And well, I'm realizing that. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. We're going to go right over here. Now, this is a, 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 a draft flow chart, okay, mm -hmm. um, which means it's a work in progress. We can change things. I've used the title women's empowerment because I saw that on multiple places. You are. Does that capture what you do? Yes. Okay. All right. And we might want, that's a big niche. We might want to come up with a, a really cool way of saying that as we go through here. But, you know, we started with your three ways article that we just looked at. Mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of the ways I help people get traffic is through media. Okay. Um, yeah. Which is a great place to put your content. I get traffic from there every day. So this will be a good article to get on there if it's not. Oh, already yeah. there. Okay. And okay. Um, the cool thing is when you've got a three chunk article, you've really got four articles, the original article, and then an article about each one of the ways, mm -hmm. visualization, positive affirmations, meditation. Okay. And so what that means just there, you've got four different ways to drive traffic to whatever products you have. Okay. Okay. Now I said um, in the introduction that this is one of the easiest ways to create products and, and resources with the, the three chunk article, because you could naturally, you know, break it down. Right. So um, one of the ways to do that, especially for people that are just getting started, um, you could come up with a, a mini course for each one of those things, a mini course on positive affirmations, a mini course on um, visualization, a mini course on meditation, right? Um, and these would be priced low, you know, 27 or so dollars, um, short kind of things, really not more than an hour. Um, what you're getting there is you're encouraging buying behavior from people. Um, when it's at an amount they really don't got to think about or talk to anybody about. Yes. Um, and so really all that would be made up of is a video where you, you're training and, and te teaching and talking about whatever that module is. The piece 
of the or the article that you'd written about it before you would include um and then probably a checklist um which your your niche really lends itself to um and so now i'm guessing that in that article you didn't tell us everything you know about positive affirmations visualization and yeah 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 so there's a lot more that you can deliver plus there's a lot more than those three things with women's empowerment right yeah okay i'm just looking here Okay, yes, I think I can deliver many courses in each section for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then a, another piece that you could do would be what I call a flagship course. Mm -hmm. And that's a course that people, that you're known for. People know you for this. Um, it could be those three things. It could be more um, robust or more bird's eye view about women's empowerment and, and how to, you know, live the life you want to live. Um, and so, you know, now we're getting into the more of the moving parts, more of the, the complex stuff, but that's why you're here. That's why you got me. Cause, um, I make this as simple as possible and I've looked at your content and I, I, I <laughs> you'll like this around the empowerment issue. Um, I believe you can do it because I've looked at your stuff. And I'll believe it until you can, if, that, if that's a challenge. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah? Okay, good, good. All right. And so, again, all of this is coming from one three-way article. Okay? So you could have many articles driving traffic here um, to the mini courses, to the flagship courses. And then um, we're going to talk about a membership in a minute. Um, we're talking about short-term memberships first because – some people still get scared about memberships. Like, you know, I, I don't want to pay monthly for the rest of my life. Yeah. You can get out, you know, it's like, it's not like Hotel California. You can okay. check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. You can always just leave, folks. Um, however, with that said, short-term memberships kind of take that resistance, that fear away, and gives people a taste of what it would be like to be in a membership program with you. Um, so we're talking eight to 12 sessions um, where you would just go deeper with your content. It might even be some different content than what we look at today. And I'm really big on um, two things, um, low service delivery for us, for the person delivering it, and then low service consumption um, for the person receiving it. Because back in the day when all this started, it, you know, if, if you gave them 27 videos and 307 PDFs to look at, that was considered cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, we don't have that attention span in, 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 you know, in, in this time in life in the world anyway. Um, and so people are craving, just give it to me quick as you can and let me go with it. Okay. Um, and I think I said this earlier in the week, the, the memberships I've had that people wanted to get out of every single time the feedback was there's just too much i can't consume it all i can't keep yeah. up with everything so you know what you would do here is, is with a lot of my short-term memberships once a week i would send a pdf um with instructions you know homework um and a video um explaining it and um you know training them that way um uh, and this works really nice uh, for a couple of reasons. One of which, let's say you charged $37 a month for this, the right. 111 altogether, um, which is not bad. Um, what that does, that $37 a month, is gets customers very comfortable with paying us monthly. Yeah. And then so moving from a short term to a long term is a whole lot easier. Okay. And again, um, I, I bet you've got enough topics under women's empowerment that, you know, if you did, if you did something new monthly, you'd have plenty for the first year. Excuse me. Um, so short term, sorry, Jeff, short yeah, term, okay, please. eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks. Right. That's a short term. Okay. Yeah. It's time limited. You're going to, you're going to not go as deep and you're going to only teach you know, 
a few basics. Like one of my short-term memberships was article marketing for beginners. And it was just, like I said, a video, a PDF, and I took them through some steps. Um, and then took them into the, um, the main membership. And again, um, you could do this with a video. We could do this level membership with a training, a video training and a Q&A each month. Yeah. And, and that would be all you would need. And then as you created other courses, you could put it in that membership, you know, and, and, and say to people, hey, this is a, a growing membership. You'll get these two trainings a month and, you know, another course, however, how often you would do one. Um, the cool thing, the super cool thing is that what I've seen over the years with, with students and myself is people that take one of your courses, about a third of them end up here in a membership. You know, so conservatively, if you've got 10, well, you're going to get three new members. If you've got 100, 33. Um, Short-term memberships are great for driving people to a membership because about half the people that take this want to do a membership because they, they've gotten invested with you. They've got a feel for how you work and they want to do more. Um, make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. It's okay. something I can see doing, you know, the pulling in for coaching for a large dollar value. I can mm -hmm. see me doing this quite easily. Yes. Yes. I got, and the material I have, because you go, right. there's a whole lot of stuff that women needs help with and struggle with. <laughs> yeah. All, that's, that's all of us guys too, but you're absolutely <laughs> right. And, um, I could tell from the exp expression on your face, you were, you were getting a glimpse of what's possible here. Mm -hmm. um, any questions? No, not so far. Okay. Now, looking at your, your flow chart, you, um, the Medium article. So that one would be posted on Medium, the first. The right. Article. Would right. it be each section or just the whole article? I would start with the, with the, with the entire article. The entire, okay. Okay. And then you could take each section and, and add to it. Um, you wouldn't just cut out a section and make an article about it. You'd add to it, say a little bit more about it, you know, maybe put in some more information, an example, a story, a case study, that kind of thing. Um, but you would be playing off the original. Okay? Yeah, um, now, are, are you, I couldn't find you. Are you on Medium at all yet? I, yes, I've signed up on Medium, but just okay. signed up because I okay. get it. Everything is like starting Facebook. It's a step at a time, understanding I, the platform. I, I, and what I, I have you. signed up and posted nothing. Okay. Well, we can help with that. And um, I totally get what you're saying because recently I started um, – getting to, to know how to work Substack, which is a similar yeah. um, platform. And I know from experience that in about a month, it's going to be like medium is for me. Um, but right now it's like, what is this? And what does this mean? And that was a really good reminder for me yeah. because that's how it is when you're just starting out. Yes. And even if you're experienced, that's how it is when you're just starting out on an, on an unknown platform. If you had put me in a brick and mortar building, I'd be fine. <laughs> you know, I really understand that. But this is like posting, uh, blogging. It's like it's a whole new realm. I so totally understand that. <laughs> Getting about about 06, 07, I decided I was going to learn how to do this to reach more people. Because, um, yeah, put me in a practice. Shoot, yeah. I can walk out to the waiting room. 10 times a day and bring somebody back and have a conversation. That's that, you know, that's right. know what to do. <laughs> shut them up and knock them down. Um, and, and then I started learning this world and I'm like, wow, this is different. And what's going to help you is it's similar in that it's simply another way to help people. Yes. That's what led me. I wanted to quit when I started this a um, couple months back. I, well, about a year back, I threw up my hand and I said, too much, can't do it, yes. overwhelmed, burning yes. out, stressed out, pause. And it's like a needle in my, my back going, you got to do this. <laughs> Come back, did a little bit more, learn one more new thing, learn to know how to do a website. Dot. 
oh, overwhelmed, pause. Before I know it, a year has gone by, so I've said, done, I gotta get help. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you did, I'm glad you reached out, because there's lots we can do. So um, it's amazing how fast 20 minutes can go by, because we're, we're at the wrap up time. Wow. Um, uh, I, just, I just love what you brought us, and there's so much we can build with this. And, and, and thank you for being a good guest. Um, so my first step then is to get this article on Medium. Up on Medium, yeah. And I'll be, then, I'll, go ahead. And then my next tip is then to look at a mini course. Right, right. Okay. And we can build that from your article and from other stuff that you teach. And we'll talk more about how to do that after we wrap up here. So stay on the right. line. Um, so, you know, hats off to you. Thank you, folks. Thank you for um, listening and watching. And whether you're on here live or on a replay, the same link applies. Oh. JeffHerring.com forward slash apply. Like how I did that? JeffHerring.com forward slash apply. So you get to sit, you get to sit in Lorna's seat, not at her home or office, but in your own in a content profit seat and do the same thing we just did. So again, Lorna, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, we'll talk a little bit after we're done. And fo folks, you know, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't want to miss this comment I've got here. As soon as I can find my mouse again. Well, our pleasure, Lynn. Lynn was here saying thank you. Awesome. All right. So now, as always, folks, go use this stuff and we'll catch you on the next show.